la 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 la. That's it. Breed my pretties. Mwah, give me your leather. Hello, and welcome to Jeebus Adventures. And there I am just playing with some cows. Just throwing wheat at them, and they just bloody love it. I don't know why they love it. It's really boring, but... Yep, still breeding cows, and still getting plenty of leather from it. I haven't really murdered many yet. Only the other two that have escaped. So nothing massive yet. These have all, all eaten up now, I think. There's nothing left in there. They're all just enjoying life, because they're cows. Who doesn't, they? Okay, so, uh, today I want to sort of remedy what we did wrong last time with the nether. Now I'm not going to go to the nether, um, I'm just going to sort of prepare for the next time I do. So I've discovered that this does mount properly, you guys have all said in the comments that it does go on a block. However, I don't know how to shoot it. I've got a box of ammo, this is the ammo I crafted last time, and I just, I can't, I don't know how to shoot it. Even with a bare hand, let's just check that. I don't, I can't fire, I don't know what button to press, is, is, there, is there a key for it? It's not T, it's not R, I... I don't know. I, oh, it's my map button. Yeah, I've got no buttons to, to shoot with. Nothing like that. I don't know how to use it. But it looks pretty freaking cool. Can I get off this now, please? Let me off. Oh, balls. That's t three times I've done that now. Let me out of my goddamn gun. Thank you. Yeah, I have put some holes in the floor by accident. I think there's one sort of right in front of me right now. And of course, there's another one. He just saw me put a hole in there. So, ouch. Yeah, I'm going to fall through that a lot. So, that might not be a good idea having the air there. It's a shame. It looks really cool. But... I think I may have to ditch that because there's at least three holes in here now and I, ah, for God's sake, and I'm not quite sure where they are. So that's a bit of a shame. But anyways, we'll see how we get on. If not, I may have to just paste over it all with glass and just keep hopping over this gap for now. But yeah, today I want to make a sentry turret because I want to get some uh, mob farming. Um, as you saw then the, by the cows, um, there is a space at the top where I've got a skeleton spawner. Now, I wanted to make a sort of mob softener. I've seen some videos on, on YouTube about it where the skeletons or whatever the mob is gets pushed into a little area. Then you hit a button and a, a bit of lava comes out and then back in again just for a tiny little second. But I've been messing around with it in, in a single player world and I cannot make it work. I just, it just can't do it. I hit the button, the lava comes out and then it just stays out. It doesn't suck it back in again. Um, so I just can't get it working. If any of you guys know a video that you've made yourself and worked perfectly, uh, please do let me know. Like, either, either drop a link or something, link comments, can you? But send me a message or something like that and let me know how to do it and the video you used, and I will definitely give it a go in the next episode. Um, but I figured what would we, we could do is, instead of having a, a mob softener or a vanilla thing is make a sentry gun. Now, if you see, oh, I've searched for wrench last. If I look, search for sentry. Uh, if I can't spell sentry, here we are. Let's look at these. I want to make a sentry gun. So we need a sentry monitor at some point, which is quite cheap, and a sentry gun, which is just a sentry head, which is not too bad, and a sentry base, which we know is dead cheap. So I'm going to have a look at the sentry base now. I'm not trying to make a dispenser, it's just a bow and cobblestone. That's very, very simple. I've got lots of bows from my spawner. Have I got an on me? Of course I have a new my enchanted one. I must have loads of them knocking around. I've got, I've seen loads of bows in here. So the most sorting system in here is just terrible. I really need to get something better going on. Oh, there's one. Yeah. Particularly now we've got um, iron chests installed, that would be a very easy thing to do. I should be able to make very dedicated sections for it. Oh, I got another disc before, I just, as you saw. It's another cat, unfortunately. But um, yeah, I've been luring creepers like it's nobody's business. I'm a pro at that now. All right, let's get crafting this then. Let's make ourselves the uh, dispenser first, just because that's the quite a key part for the middle bit, isn't it? I can drag and drop. I love that. I'm, I miss that in all my other plays now because I'm playing another another version of Minecraft and the other ones, and I just I can't swipe, and it's so irritating. I get so used to this now. It's like I've seen the light and now I now I can't do anything about it. Alright, so I've made the base, uh, well kind of, I've made sort of part of the base. And I should be able to make that now. Where's the rest of my iron in here? That'll do it. I you very much. And I'll just quickly check what that was again. Oh, bugger. Let's just shift click this. That should do it. Thank you very much. Sentry head. That is a sentry base. We can just go to the trade post now. Warp trade. And then we can trade this for this. Hopefully it'll work. I don't see why it shouldn't. If I just click that into there, it should... Send you a bit. Oh no, I, ah, because I own it, I can't trade it myself. Oh well, we know I can do it. I'll just do it manually. So I'll go into the thing here. I'll place my metal propeller into there and then take a base out. You guys would normally just shift click that or click on the one you want and it does it itself. I can't do it because I own the booth. So, bit of a spoiler there, a bit of a shame. But I'm just, just swapping it around there. So I put mine in there somewhere now and I can bit my, propeller, my base is back. My propeller has been swapped. Okay, going home. And uh, let's make, make, the, make up the rest of it now. So I'm doing the bench, why not? So sentry base, uh, sentry head, and then I think it needs a dice. I'll use rose red. I've got the army for some reason. There we go. So this is now a sentry gun. If you plunk him down, he should just... Yeah, there he is, a sentry. Oh, Christ, I hit him. Um, I think you use a wrench to repair him. So 
I'm gonna make one of those now. I've got. I, you can make different kinds. There's an iron wrench, and there's a. I can't remember what recipe is. What's the recipe for the wrench? I looked it up just a second ago. You can make two different kinds of wrenches. There's iron, and there's um. How can I craft that with? Um, iron and there's gold. I don't know what the difference is. Or why, why, what is this recipe? For God's sake, I'm such an idiot. There we go. Wrench. Um. So. That heals it, I guess. The wrench will eventually. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing. Apparently, oh, yeah, you keep hitting it and it upgrades itself. It's a 15 or 15 one now. And there it's number three. Does it go any higher than three? I don't know if it does or not. My wrench is now gone and I just smacked him. Sorry, dude. Does the golden wrench do anything different or is it just weaker or what? I have no idea. Let's find out. There's my ingots. They're over here, I think. Have I got any gold? Oh, lots of gold. Wow. Let's just quickly open another, another recipe. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. Now, does this do anything different? I'm not sure if it does or not. Um, uh, no, it seems to be leveled up to the max now, so never mind. Let's put the wrench back in there so we don't lose it. Now, can I... Oh, for God's sake. I need to fill that hole in, don't I? I really need to. All right, now, how do I pick him up? Can I just mine him? Oh, God, have I got to destroy it? I'm going to regret this, aren't I? Oh, no, it's okay. It drops down. That's fine. I've got a sentry there. And I'll take my wrench with me. We're going to go put him upstairs and see if he can shoot the enemies. Uh, just before we do that, though, I want to grab the sentry monitor, which I think is just buttons and redstone, wasn't it? With something else at the top, a bit of glass. I have all those things. I, I think have I got glass? Glass in here? No. Glass in? Oh, not the liquid. Glass in there? No. I thought I did, but that's hardened. I ruined it already. Glass in here? Yes, I do. Phew. Um. So buttons. I think I've just got some cooked stone. Oh, I can cook some up right now. That's no big deal. Take the iron out of there. Whack a couple pieces of those in there. I'll make buttons. Did I put two in there? I don't know. No matter, I have now. There's one. Come on, second button. And we can make that up right now. There we go. Okay. So it was just two buttons. And then redstone. Now shift click that. Yes, I can. There we go. Sentry monitor. Now I think that lets me see some of the stats better or configure it a bit better or make it do different things. I'm not entirely sure, to be honest. I really don't know. But this will hopefully be a good test for it. So I'm not going to kill the cows. God damn it, little kids are going out again. I think they just sort of float up and, and get over the top somehow. I'm not sure. But here we are, let's give this a go. Let's place down the sentry base here, and then level him up. Boom, 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 sentry two, sentry three. Okay, makes some cool noises, doesn't it? Sentry monitor, that's, yeah, so it shoots all sorts of stuff. It can shoot pink slimes from Mine Factory Reloaded. I didn't know there was pink slimes in this. Um, it shoots the Wither Boss, the Witch, Skeletons. It's set up as fine, isn't it? It doesn't shoot players, which is good, because I'm the only one around it at the moment. But it's good to know that it could kind of shoot villagers, players. I thought it could. I can't see the option for it. It shoots villagers. I guess it doesn't attack actual people, so that's it's probably a good thing, really. It just apparently attacks giants, even though there's none of them around. All right, so you are configured to shoot. Uh, let's get rid of that top. I got a bucket on me, haven't I? Yep. Let's get rid of this and then see what happens. I don't know how this is gonna work, but this is gonna be tense. Whoa! What the shitting bastard hell! Holy fuck nuggets! That was Jesus! Oh god, he had a heart attack. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Well, it drops all here. The items anyway. Um Yeah. How's the sentry doing? He's on fifteen health. Maybe we should bring him back a little bit. It's probably a bit near, isn't it? Oh my god, I'm shaking from that. Bloody hell, that was it shoots rocket time. That's insane. Talk about overkill. Bloody hell. Now, can, do you have ammo that I've got of you? Yes, that's your ammo, isn't it? If I hit you, does the ammo go up as well? Yes, it does, apparently. So, oh my Christ. Do the, do the skeletons shoot the sentry gun or not? I'm not sure if they do. Let's hide on this side for a little bit and see what happens. Um, let's put some block down like, so I can get in there a little bit better and see how well this works. Let's put that there and then put a hole in here so I can see what's happening. Does the sentry gun take damage? It's on 20 health at the moment. Come on. Spawn some skeleton. Come on. Come on. Spawn some skeleton. There we go. Yes, they do. They shoot at the, at the sentry. Oh, no, he's down. Oh, no, he's not. He's got 11 health left. So he needs to be behind some sort of defense, doesn't he? Because the skeletons are just annihilating him. It's a shame. Oh, my God. He's going off again. That's his health now. Eight. He's really taking hits, but he's destroying them pretty quick. He's very loud though, isn't he? Um, doesn't drop XP, which is probably for the best. But um, I would like to be able to find a way to get that to work if possible. 
Um, let's let's break you. All right, let's put this down first. I want to make any more spawning whilst there's no health. All right, come on, you're going. Um, what can I, oh god, I'm full of inventory now. Oh, oh apparently I'm not. Um, where can I put him now? Where he be, he'll be safe? Do you reckon maybe behind some half slabs? It's a possibility, isn't it? Um, hmm. I suppose I could. Oh, is he better to be a century two or just century one? I suppose. So I plunk him down like there. For, oh god, what's he facing that way for? What the heck? Hmm. I'm not sure how this works. I really don't know about this. Um, I'm considering trying to add in the um, the the portal gun mod back again because they added the portal portal gun uh, sentry turrets. They were really useful. There. Where's my food gone? Oh, there it is. Um, and of course, the portal gun itself was pretty freaking epic. So I might have a go at that. But I'm not really sure why it was taken out between versions. I I figured there must be a reason for it. But um, if it's not important reason, I will add it back in again. Um, so I'm gonna look into that next thing as the next mod to put back into it because it's one that's not really in many of the mod packs. It's in some feed the beast things I think, but not really in uh, in most things that I play on that much anyway. Um, oh, I remember something else I want to show you. Um, I said in an earlier episode that there's no way of storing the energy from these. Uh, I was wrong. I was very very wrong. The, the energy cube stores energy from these. Energy cube is a very very cool little thing. This um, it's a bit strange of how it works. It doesn't seem to work. All that well sometimes so this is now powering these so these should this should be filling up but um it's not actually you can see these are filling up their own internal place so if i uh, break the energy cube which i've got oh i've got one of these yeah it's just on the floor for now if i pick up uh this and then put it back down again oh god damn it cobblestone and put it back down again um you can see that it's now it's going up again so these now are all draining it's going down see and this is going up again but I don't know why it that does that all the time. I need to, need to set it so that the um yeah that's where the the back, so it's still going yeah that's still working. It's still filling up from all inputs. All sides go in except for the one on this side which is, goes out. Um and it works fine. Like it fills up this these power that all the time they like. It fills it up as normal. And this pipe there's the outside output up there is the uh, rolling machine and downstairs is the other things. Um take energy from here so that works fine. But for some reason when I turn these off to turn them back on again. When I come to look at it, they're not working, and I'm not quite sure why. But it is a way to store energy at a stretch if you need to, which of course everybody does. But otherwise, the lava method that I've got is working fine too. And you could also use oil, I suppose, if you had an oil engine, like combustion engines, and you could use um, whatever other liquids you can put in these tanks. You can store all sorts of crap in these tanks. They're, they're really quite clever. But yeah, that's what I want to do. I want to be able to take a um. A sentry gun, sentry turret, to the nether and plonk him in front of the the, the, the blaze spawner, so that hopefully um, you can get some whatever they're called, some bla blaze rods. Yes, so it makes more air. However, I am oh for God's sake, I did it again. Yeah, I'm rapidly going off the idea of having air as my floor. Um, yeah, it's just not not so hot, is it? Um, so yeah, the moment all I'm focusing on is really getting the cows going so I can make up the bookcases in here. Uh, that's looking a bit bare, isn't it? I'd like, I'd like a good way to get some some levels and some enchants going on. Enchants on the go. Um, so yeah, I guess that concludes this for a little bit. All I've done is the uh, sentry gun. But um, yeah, we're going to have a bit of explore what's going on. And I think next episode we'll have a look at some of the mine factory reloaded things. So if I look for those, uh, let's go into the mod section. Um, ba -ba -ba -da, where's mine factory reloaded? There it is. If I just show all of these, we've got the mods like this. We've got all the um, blah, 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 conveyor belts. And of course, there's the, the automatic thing. So this is the really sort of automated section of this mod pack, at least. And there's all this stuff here that I don't know what is. Like bioreactors, uh, auto disenchanters, the slaughterhouse. They sound incredible. So I'm going to have to do some research because I don't know anything about them. I know some of these top ones here, like the fisher, the rancher, the fertilizer. These are the things that are used in Tech at Light. The sewer? I haven't. I'll have to have a look at that, too. But um, for the most part, these things are all pretty new. The meat packer is something I'm very interested in. I would love to be able to get things like the raw meats. Um, I don't know what you, what you do with them or if can you eat them or do you craft with them. Apparently you make meat blocks by the looks of this. Yeah, I don't know anything about it. So I really want to have a look at this and that's what we're going to have a look at next time. The pink slime balls. That's from the pink slime mob, mob we saw in the list earlier, I guess. But yeah, I know nothing about it. And I'm going to have some research. I'm going to look at some videos, look at some videos of, um, of the mod and see what we can come up with. Um, and of course we've got this, this dumbass gun which I can't fire. I'm sure I'm failing hard but I don't know what to do with it. I, I can't find the controls to, to shoot it. So 
that's just gonna stay there for a while I think I've tried all sorts of things or first thing I do is always R um, oh nope that's K uh, H apparently has a game score G minimap nope never mind I don't know what to press um, it's just not up and in anyways if you enjoyed this episode uh, if you have please hit that like button it's really appreciated and it means a lot to me and um, yeah thank you very much for watching and I'll see y'all later in brown trousers